Uh, good morning, governors, and thank you for joining us for this very special call today. We're honored to have Ukraine, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky join us, along with Ambassador Makarova uh, from Ukraine. Uh, we have deep admiration for your leadership and for the courage of the Ukrainian people. Uh, we stand with you shoulder to shoulder, uh, and we are unwavering in our support of Ukraine's uh, efforts against this war of aggression by Russia. And as governors, we want to continue to pull alongside you and the Ukrainian people. And uh, we we look forward to uh, to hearing from you. And so we'll we'll turn the, the remainder of this Zoom call over to you, Mr. President. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. Um, thanks uh, for this opportunity. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Ambassador, uh, dear representatives of the entire U.S. from the East Coast to the West Coast, Actually, all cities and communities in the United States are represented at this meeting. And it is an honor to address you all. And I have just uh, completed my visits to those regions of Ukraine that were liberated from the Russian army or that are bordering the combat zone. This is a colossal territory. The line of active hostilities in Ukraine now is more than 1,200 kilometers long. It's like from Washington DC to Chicago and back. The total front line is even more than that. Millions, millions of people live in the cities and villages from which we have either already expelled the Russian flag or are preparing to do so. Think about this number, almost 1,900 cities and towns in my country need reconstruction. Schools and churches, residential buildings and enterprises, transport and power plants. All of you know very well what is to rebuild your life after a devastating tornado. You are doing it. We are doing it, but we are doing it because of the human element, human evil, and not a natural cataclysm. The reconstruction of Ukraine will be the largest economic project in Europe in in lifetime of several I mean of several generations. And I believe America will stand with us in this reconstruction. Your companies your jobs just like you are with us now in our defense ladies and gentlemen who if not your state governors know what is really behind the war's reconstruction and defense russia unleashed this war not so much against our country but against freedom freedom in europe and around the globe in general and when asking why why america should help ukraine and invest in our defense the answer is just look at reality millions of ukrainian families are torn by the war millions are forced to seek protection from russian terror in other countries hundreds of ukrainian cities and villages have been burned by russian artillery missiles, aircraft, and Iranian drones used by Russia. There was a city, you know, city Wuhledar. 15,000 inhabitants lived there. The aggressor burned it. Mariupol, more than 400,000 inhabitants lived there. Russia left only ruins from it. Thousands of fields are mined. A significant part of, of the economy is broken. Hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people have been forcibly deported to Russia. This is what the evil state has brought to Ukraine. And what if all this spreads further across Europe, through the cities and lands of your allies, those whom you have a uh, sacred obligation to protect. How much will it cost America then? The Kremlin 
dreams to humiliate America and Europe and the whole free world. The Kremlin dreams to split NATO and to provoke a conflict that will force your nation to choose whether to fight or not. It is Ukraine that is your last frontier, your last reliable border. Thanks to our strengths, in particular, your people will not have to make this choice. A choice about your men and women, brave soldiers whose lives would be laid on the altar of protecting the most precious freedom. 1,200 kilometers of fighting in Ukraine. And how much more can there be in Europe? Ukraine is capable of preventing the expansion of the war. We are able to defeat Russia on our land. The enemy of freedom must lose quickly and surely where he came with a criminal and unprovoked war of aggression. That is why we ask the USA for support, for weapons and finances. If Ukraine endures your peace, your allies and partners endure as well. And I want to thank all Americans, each and everyone, leaders and ordinary people who see this reality, who know how important it is to protect freedom now, now, who support Ukraine. We are grateful to President Biden, to both parties and uh, houses of Congress and to every state that is involved in, in one way or another in protecting freedom. Grateful to those who are ready to work with us in reconstruction. Thanks to all of you. Thanks to Arkansas and all employees of the defense industry of the state for the excellent HIMARS systems which really changed the course of military actions and forced the Russian army to the defense. Thanks to Alabama and all the employees of the state's enterprises that produce, in particular, Javelin anti-tank systems, which saved lives of thousands, really thousands of Ukrainian soldiers. Thanks to Arizona and Oklahoma, where our military trained, in particular, on the Patriots. Thanks to every U.S. state involved in the production of the Patriots. Harpoons, Harpoons and Stingers, Nessums and Bradley, other systems and products, not only in the, in the field of security, also other service and solutions that bring Ukrainian victory closer, closer, that give Ukrainian stability of a normal life despite the war, are produced by you, by your states and your people. Texas and Nevada, Maryland and California, Indiana and Oregon, Washington and New York, and many and many, many others. Each of the states already has experienced helping us. And not only for defense, but also for our people, in particular in the treatment of soldiers and civilians, adults and children who were injured by Russian terrorist attacks and mine explosions. Hundreds and hundreds of American companies, banks and factories are already doing business with Ukraine. Thousands of companies will join our reconstruction reconstruction project from Pennsylvania and Michigan, New Jersey and Virginia, Missouri and Georgia, Connecticut and Colorado. And I know that uh, some states are negotiating special cooperation. The one that is about recovery, Ohio and our Harkiv region, uh, Illinois and our Kiev region, Minnesota and our Chernigov region. We must expand this, this direction of cooperation from state to region, from city to city. Something that will powerfully complement interstate work. It is with Ukraine that 
America had the opportunity to protect its values which match ours. And also our cooperation creates new growth for our security and yours, for our economy and yours, for jobs in both our countries. The main thing is not to waste time and not to lose the chance we have to act, act now and help now the Ukrainians do it so that the Americans do not have to fight. Together we are gaining new strengths, strengths of our nations and I'm, I'm sure that we will always be successful. Thanks for your attention. Attention, thank you, America, for the help that lets us win. I invite you, who have not yet been to Ukraine, to visit our country and to see that protecting our home, our people, is protecting our common dream about freedom and dignity for every human being. By the way, Governor Murphy, who visited the Lviv region last February, can confirm we are a hospitable nation and we are always welcome guests who visit us with a with an open heart. God bless America. Slava Ukraini. Thank you so much, Mr. President. And I can certainly uh, vouch for the incredible hospitality. You have an unusually good sense of our uh, American geography and our federal system of states. Uh, and let me assure you that all the, our nation's governors view the attack on Ukraine as an existential threat to the United States of America. And we will act uh, as such and will be unwavering in our support and partnership with you. So, Mr. President, thank you. Ambassador, thank you. God bless you. Godspeed. We look forward, all of us, to seeing you soon in person in a free and prosperous Ukraine. You are very welcome. Anytime. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. All the best. Good luck and peace.